I'm just going to quickly moisturize my face um, just using the oily just dotting it around because I'm not going to use I think um, foundation today but we'll see because my face is quite dry right now in areas so it's just good to just have some SPF just in case and also need to apply some lip balm as well so just using my Noya cher in cherry just because I am going to put some lip gloss or lip colour on now for the eyes I'm just doing something really simple um, just like an everyday look and I need to use my fingers to apply the eyeshadows because I think they really do apply and they swatch really well with the fingers so I'm going to just take the lighter shade and then I'm just going to put that all over my lid it's really built up you can see it's really really pretty forgot primer oh well next time um, so just to down below what a good primer is what do you guys think because um, I'm thinking of getting a primer, um, a clear one and maybe just like a tinted one just to flesh tone, just to uh, clear out my veins that I have. So let me know in the comments below what you guys would suggest. So I'm just building up this colour, it's really pretty, it's like a pink, it has like a pinky undertone to it. And then I'm going to use, just on like a little fluffy brush, a little bit, just a teeny weeny bit of the Pays uh, Cosmetics Bronzer just in the crease just to kind of warm everything up and um, just like a transition color and just to blend at the same time it's so really really close so I just don't have any harsh lines or anything like that and just to add a little bit of definition without going overboard so it's just like this kind of color it's in the shade 2M but I'll link all the products I use down below I have added just a little little bit, just a tiny bit, because I don't want too much of an intense look, especially because this is going to be during the day. I'm wearing it during the day, so. And then I'm going to highlight the inner corner using the Rimmel Glam eyes high definition in Brixton Brown. I'm using the pinky shade just a little bit on the end of the brush on the inner corner as well. Yep. I still see that you if you use a little bit too much it can get quite bright so you just want to add a little bit at a time depending on how bright you want the inner eye to be in a corner of the eye to be so I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit and that is that done I'm going to just use the darker shade and use that to line my eyes just because I want a natural look just to pack that on the brush to get a really dark brown line. As really close to the lash line as possible. And what I'm doing is I'm pressing it onto my eye line, eyeshadow, instead of like going like this with strokes, just so it packs on nicely because I, like I said, I forgot to put primer on. So kind of like that. I 
I am going to go in with the Rimmel, what's it called? Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in, in the nude in my waterline, just to brighten things up. And I'm going to apply some mascara on. I'm going to do this off camera because I'm not amazingly at it. I'm just using the Rimmel Scandalize um, Rocking Curves one. Now I'm going to do the rest of my face and it's just going to be something simple. I'm just going to use some BB cream from Oile um, because it is during the day. So I'm just going to dot that all over my face and then blend it in with my fingers. So, the blush I'm going to use today is something new, so I'm using the, from the BH Malibu, so it's just the pinky shade that you can see, I just got a blush brush, and just add a little bit onto the apples on my cheek. Uh, I'm going to use the Lush Liquid Lipstick in Ruby Slipper because it's like a nice natural colour. So I just added a little bit of eyeliner, um, it's just a Rimmel Scandalized eyeliner, just on the top lash line just to kind of um, help blend everything together. So you have the brown and then you have the black as well, just for the eyelashes, especially. So I'm let's say guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have liked this little look. Um, I really, really wanted to use this little duo. So I thought it'd be nice to kind of take you guys with me and see what I created. I just wanted something really simple, everyday kind of look. Um, so something kind of neutrally. Since I can't just, so I, hence I stuck to brown. So yeah, so that's it guys. I will do a blog post and I'll link all the products I use down below for you guys. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll see you soon. Bye.